Wait, where did we leave off again? The, tr the trial, like, oh. it's said to be continued even though the trial wasn't over for today. Because they had to take a break, apparently. For lunch, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, the first time you've had to cut mid-trial. Which ha think. happens a lot in the later games. In the trials but especially lot. here, it's noticeable. Well, yeah, because they don't do it for the rest of the game. This uh, case is fucked. Fucking this is. case is really fucked. Like, uh, I don't even know. I'm so. It's the cowboy again. Oh, Piss God. off! Why are you even here? Fucking, he just he's walks look, down. He's like, looking for his. He's looking for Bill Williamson, of course. He's looking for his pet cactus. He's got to rescue his family and get it back from the government. <laughs> Wow. He just comes out and goes, Howdy, partner, I'm a fucking cowboy, and then walks out. Smacks his face off the door on the way out. Dies. And the world's Shaving happy again. Place. I know. What's with the shaving and no facial hair falling off? No, the it's fucking DS thing, okay? No, the facial What are you expecting here? <laughs> no, the facial hair's falling off, but it's still on his face somehow. I don't think Lazarus understands the limitations of sprites. <laughs> I do, I'm just saying. It's fucking DS sprites. What do you want? Do you want the- Do you I'm want not... realistic uh, hair coming <laughs> off his I'm face? Just... <laughs> I'm... I'm... Why don't they just shave at all then if they know that they have limitations? Re realistic work, alright? No, it's- no, okay. realistic... The character doesn't even need to exist! Yeah, that's true. <laughs> to be fair, fucking... Isaac, you don't need to exist either. <laughs> but oh, you don't see me saying that. Yeah, you do. Except for just, Except just Stan. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> you think it's, you think you think his fucking beard hair just like magically grows back as soon as he sh tries to shave it off? Can we just yeah, like, can we just like can we not get Edward? hung up on the beard again anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Edgeworth. He's angry. He's got the, the, the dead eyes. He, he's already had enough of this case. <laughs> <laughs> Something good though. Oh, no. oh god. I think what's coming up. I know what's coming up next. Wait, what time are you guys at? Oh my god. 2.43. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like the judge stopped for us too. Oh Lord. Oh, it's- Oh, hello. Oh, God. Who's this Fucking guy? Fame. It's Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Gr- oh, He doesn't look like oh, Uncle oh. Grandpa! Holy no. crap. Hey, you can't even compare this guy to Uncle Grandpa, okay? I don't- okay? I don't- that's- that's, <laughs> that's cruel. I'm oh, sorry, I'm you. sorry. Dude, say something! This is something. still associated with a good game. He's yeah. so clearly psychotic, look at him. No, he's not. Look, he's cheery. He's got that hair. <laughs> Thunderbolt hair. Oh, he looks like Aji. Aji. Oh. What? What? He looks like that guy I visited earlier today that I told you about. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so he looks. Like, so is he like? So is he a drug lord? Or something? He looks like a drug lord. <laughs> yeah, he does. Except yeah, except this guy has like nice clothes and everything. Yeah, at least tries to dress up. Righto. Righto. Who, who the fuck? Who the fuck What's are you? Worthy. Worthy. Jolly. Jolly. Little Worthy. This, this, this guy. Oh my god. What time are you at? This this guy is the chief of police, but he's never seen. We've never police. heard of this guy before this. Grant. And we'll never hear of him again. Well, there's a reason for that, but... I call him- I think I called him Ganon at one point, but Ganon. let's face it. He, <laughs> he is- he is Ganon. He okay? kind of is. <laughs> Look at him. You know, with these nicknames, I, I, I just can't tell but wonder what he would call on Karma. Um... Carmi? Carmi, I guess? I know. No. Vincent. Patrick? Vincent. Well, what about Winston Payne? What would he call him? Haney? Um... Uh, suck. Pansy. <laughs> Pansy. Dude, why are you? Fuck! 
I hate, I hate we have like all these moments in this case where everything just stops and Gant just stares at the screen and it creeps me out. <laughs> okay, let's take a minute to assess all this information, but not really. Oh, hi, Edgeworth. <laughs> Join him out with you running! See what? What? I'm at 6.05, tell me anything. Okay. Give him okay. a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Gant oh, looks a little urban. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> then Edgeworth pops in. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop. That's not fair. Don't do that. That's not fair. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm doing a good job, Gant. Please stop it. Oh god, Edgeworth's referring back to a Sundari mode. No. <laughs> Not in the middle, of course. <laughs> he is every personality of manga and anime combined. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Lazarus, no. No, oh, um, he just yandere. <laughs> yandere. Oh, yandere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take a look at the blade at this knife. He, this seems like, like a good place to shoehorn in the DS feature right here. <laughs> yep. They did not try this after this game. This should speak wonders. <laughs> but if I cut my finger, it won't be able to point at people anymore. Well, to be fair, he won't. Well, but, he uh, will. Let the game tell you what to do now. The fuck do I? Yeah, there we go. Wow, that was incredibly gimmicky and not oh, necessary. Pointless. What was the point in that? Again, if this was introduced in the main game, that would be fine, but this is pointless now. Yeah, it's just one case, and there's no reason for that to happen. Like, they could just show a picture of the knife, like, outside, you know what I mean? Yes, as they've shown before and after this part of the <laughs> series, they never needed this. Don't smile, Gan, you piece of oh, shit. Wait a minute, did, did he present that as, as evidence? Yeah. What about evidence law? Who gives a fuck, right? I don't even know what that. I don't even remember what evidence law is. I don't think they don't ever teach it for you, I, I, except. I don't. I don't think the people who made the game know what it is. I don't think evidence like, law exists. I think they just made it up. They seriously, after playing the second game and the third, first part of the third game, they don't give two fucks about it. Don't give two fucks about it in fucking Apollo or yeah, just Destiny. throw evidence at the judge and be like, submit this for evidence. Yeah. Oh, well, at, at least the second and the third game were technically made before this case. Fucking Apollo was made after and they still don't give a shit about evidence law. Exactly. By the way, like, speaking from a point of view of someone who's played this whole case through and knows everything that happens, I have no idea why Gant shows up and presents this evidence. I don't I understand. Like, what do you, like, how do you mean, sir? I don't Explain. understand. No. What is his motivations for doing this? No, like, it's literally just like, okay, you, you, you do the first part of this trial, but then you take a break, then you come back and you suddenly just see Edgeworth pissed off, and then suddenly Gant is there for some reason. <laughs> That's some weird. dumb face. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, I don't even know what I was doing here. I I'm gonna be honest, I got a bit lost. I'm like, is it something to do with a knife? I don't know. This, this guy's a kind of an off putting character, especially considering. Like, I know that's not saying a lot considering all these characters are supposed to be comedic, but this guy is just. I don't know. Something about him just rings a little too comedic. I don't like, know. Like, when they try making him serious, it's really hard to believe it. It's weird, like. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I think I think it's just he seems more. I don't know if it's supposed to be the impression I got, but he seems more. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for putting me off. Whatever the fuck I was saying. <laughs> whatever, this case is done. Yeah, he makes a whale noise whenever he opens his mouth. Look at him twiddling his fucking hair. <laughs> God! <laughs> this amuses me. Oh my god. 
Maybe it's because they're taking ah, a position that we probably should have seen before and just adding some character we don't know about into this place. Yeah. Like, like, you know, you know, like, what made, know. you know what would make this better if Gant was in it from the beginning of the game? Yeah. But, but, but this is literally like, he, he just shows up for some reason. I'm finally taking interest in co in cases in in the court. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Raito. I've never seen you before. <laughs> Claps. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Do you know what is? Just... Do you know what his theme song is called? What? It's literally called "Gone Swimming." Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm stupid. I don't understand it. I don't know. It's because he says. Because every time he introduces himself, it's like, hi, do you swim much? I don't get it. That, I don't that, get it that's, either. That's just, ra that's just random. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a joke per se. I just think it's a running thing. I don't know why. Maybe if it's a reference, they probably should have made it a little bit easier for people to understand. SL9. <laughs> oh, the SL9 incident. <laughs> because we have to have a second incident. Don't worry. It's like, it's, it's, it's just like DL6, only without any foreshadowing. At all. And without, a, and without any characters that are legitimately, like, involved in the plot. Maybe because we just threw this all together at the last second. Yeah. Yeah. Because so we establish who Edgeworth is, we establish who all the characters involved in the incident are, and whatever characters we need established are established pretty early on in the case where it's actually a thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm or maybe I'm just stupid and maybe this all makes sense. I don't know. SL9 is a terrible thing. It, it doesn't. You're not stupid. <laughs> the pacing of this case is so fucked. What pacing? Do you know after, do you know after this part there's an hour long investigation segment? If you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing. It's more than an hour. As I was saying before I fucking cut out. After this segment, there's an hour-long investigation segment. So, there is no pacing. And what do we get out of all this case? We get yelled at. Yeah. Because we're Phoenix. Pretty much. And Phoenix doesn't get any... He doesn't get any awards, or accomplishments, or commendations, or any news <laughs> news coverage for uncovering one of the biggest scandals in the country. <laughs> we just get yelled at. <laughs> for being a little fuck up. <laughs> and we don't even get paid. Do we get paid? We're still poor. We're still poor as shit. We must get paid, surely. No, oh, because Phoenix is always complaining how poor he is. But he has to get paid something, or he just won't have enough money to keep the fucking office. He gets enough of those one of these moments where we just nitpick the series for being the series. He just gets enough pay to fucking keep, keep keep paying the rent and maybe have a little cup of ramen for him and Maya every night. No burgers. Why can't he tell us everything? I thought he was supposed to be helping us. This is very suspicious. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You can actually ask him about everything, but you'd have to ask him three times. I'm not kidding. Wait a minute. The evidence room, but aren't we supposed to be at this other place? No, that's stupid. Now the crime took place in the evidence room. Christ, that's they're literally making this shit up as they're going along with it. Then why didn't we just start at the evidence room? Because why does that no one know anything? Why wasn't this guy introduced earlier so he could tell us this? Because he gave the report to Edgeworth. Or something. Why? We need it too. What about the mutual thing with lawyers where they have to give each other evidence? No. I've watched my cousin Vinny. I know how this shit goes, okay? <laughs> now where's my subplot about him getting $200 for a bunch of truckers? For fuck's sake. <laughs> then why did I just get a penalty? <laughs> well, it's like, it took us to that statement. And he's like, oh, it, it, it took place in the evidence room, so I'm like, well, maybe I have to present the knife that was found in the evidence room? No, you have to press the statement, of course. Sorry, I didn't know that. That's, some, that's sort of the problem with the series overall. It's a little linear at times. Yeah. Like, you have to specifically go down a path that they programmed, otherwise it doesn't work, even though anything would have perfectly worked in any other statement. Yeah, I know. It's, it's that, that's not too different from, from your regular point-and-click adventure game, though. 
too. Damn. Dan, stop that! <laughs> what are you trying? What do they do with this? What are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to set up an atmosphere? Yeah. I think they're. I think they're. I think they're just trying to establish that Dan is clearly not all the way there. Oh, he is all the way there. He's just creepy as shit. <laughs> creepy as shit and clearly psychotic. How did he get the job he's in again? I don't know. Twirl, twirl, twirl. twirl. Yeah, what's with that fucking twirl in his hair? Like, <laughs> I don't think you'd be allowed to do that in court, would you? This this part of the game also introduced a bunch of character designs that are incredibly ridiculous, and it, <laughs> that stays consistent throughout the entire series. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of like that. That, though. that follows into dual destinies, which I still think has some pretty dang dang. Sorry. Damn <laughs> ridiculous character models. I like them though. I, I like the ridiculous costumes. Well, within reason, of course. What about their fucking hair? <laughs> the hair is just anime, I accept that. What about Athena? Her hair is ridiculous. That, ah. that doesn't. No. I just got. Her, her I hair just, is just really anime. Yeah, that's it. I just accept it. It even goes to a point that no hair can actually possibly go to said point. I, I know. <laughs> It does- hair does not look like a knife. Sorry guys, she, Phoenix Wright in the studio. She spent her whole life maintaining that. When do I- when do we get our glasses? That- that shows that we age. <laughs> <laughs> no, Edgeworth well, gets was, them, we just well, get well, a well, there, cow look. There was one pair of glasses left and Edgeworth got it just before us. So we had to no. make do with a little cow lick. No, oh, and that's not a cow lick, that's a hair antenna. Is it though? It's, a, it's an anime staple. Oh, if you okay. have a hair antenna, that means they have to do something with it. All so, right. it usually either implies that you have a radar in it, or <laughs> or it just has a mind of its own. <laughs> oh my god. What? I got confused too, Phoenix, don't worry. <laughs> I, I, I don't think anyone knows what's going on at this point. I mean, we're just honestly just talking over this. Well, because it's so stupid. They know they can read what's going on. Maybe they get it more yeah, than I do. Use your brain, people. This is what visual novels are for. <laughs> you, you, you know, I get you. You could have me like fucking replay this case five times over and over again. I still won't be able to like comprehensively tell you what the hell went on in it. Ah! Uh... <laughs> right. So. Right, yeah, right. I'm sorry, I have to do it. <laughs> Every time. There's gotta be another mouth noise. Please don't. <laughs> There's gotta be one that rivals the Edgeworth of 2013. I don't think there no. is. <laughs> the Great Paradox Breakdown cannot be rivaled. <laughs> oh, but it's gonna get there. Oh yeah, and fuck you, by the way. <laughs> I miss the days of Mega Man. Oh, god. I miss the days of Knock Case 5. That actually kind of hurt my feelings a bit when they posted that, but whatever. <laughs> anyway... What does our witness think of that? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Technic is least... our victim, but he was killed in the evidence room at the exact same time as well! Because that makes didn't sense! We just... Didn't we just Why don't see we that start flashback? at one point and get to all the other points? How about that, writers? God damn it. We don't need to throw everything in the first day. Hey guys, remember the the murder we were rich, we were originally defending Lana Sky for? It never gets brought up past this point, by the way. Now the we have to solve another murder. This is amazing. Now I have to solve like three other murders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at the, look at this pose he makes in a second as well. Look at what? I said wait. <laughs> I said wait. <laughs> Edgeworth, don't have a heart attack, man. Look at that fucking pose! <laughs> what about it? I don't get it. It's so- Is it- Ugh. Is it because it looks really super evil? Yes! He might as well have a fucking little sign on his head that says main villain. <laughs> Oh, oh god, it's him again. Hi, we, we might as well have just had it from the very fucking beginning, because you know that there's, this guy has to be the murderer, just the moment you lay eyes upon him. Look at him. Look on a separate... Him. Oh, 
I think that? I found my favorite characters in Ace Attorney 3. What? And what ones? Hey, no, no, we'll get to them when that bridge is crossed. Oh, but you have to let me know. Well, I'll let you know later, but for now, okay. we gotta worry about Case 5 and its amazing writing of... So we uh, have to, though! ...one point to another, <laughs> with, with, no, with clear, nice reasons why. <laughs> It's not like we have two pages of evidence already. No. Oh. Oh. Actually, you'll need to double check that because I'm seriously confused on how much we actually do have. <laughs> I know it's a lot. Oh, what the, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> screenshot that. That's going to the end of this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so a massive video error just happened. We'll make sure to show you it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like Gat just destroyed the universe or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he was Gat's, off that one. Gat just completely crashed your fucking DS anyway. <laughs> The best part, of course, is that his eyes are green, but they turn blue for like five seconds. Uh, fucking anime. <laughs> well, hey, we have a white-haired black man. I think that's more than enough. <laughs> He's brown. He's more tan than anything. It's because he goes swimming a lot. No! What was he saying no for again? I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. <laughs> I think he just felt like being dramatic. Pay attention to me, guys. Well, he is Hedgeworth. And he's nothing if not dramatic. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. true. That's, that, that's <laughs> more true than it needs to be. <laughs> Honestly, Edgeworth isn't that great a character unless we make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> then he's just your generic anime rival. He's <laughs> <laughs> had his mom is in case four though. I'm so sorry. Don't <laughs> hate me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my stomach hurts a bit. When a, when a case got complicated, like in case three, you know how it went from this happened, now this happened. But wait, that didn't really happen. We need to go back and see what really happened. Yeah. But there was a reason, this like, doesn't it... do that. This does. <laughs> this happened. Now let's go to this to make, sure that, to make sure we prove that the first part didn't happen. But then this second part didn't happen. So then the third part happened, but not really. But then the second part also didn't happen. So let's just <laughs> fuck it. Just everything happened, but nothing really happened. Yeah, like they just throw stuff at you. At least in previous cases, there was like a, a distinct relation bet between the events. And the pacing was better. Anyway, <laughs> this is the end of part three. I'd like, I, yeah. I'd like to just. I wonder if there's a GIF somewhere of Gant just barfing out information at you. <gasps> I don't know. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye.